All right, next up tonight, Bowman Draft, number 26. Here's your teams. Combos of Orioles, Giants, Dodgers, Rockies, Astros, Padres, Rangers, Nationals, and A's. Yeah, I don't know meatballs. Masters. That's another line I always say. Ghostbusters too. So your alien had a room at the Holiday Inn. Paramus. Wayne's World 2. I did watch Wayne's World 2 infinity times. Alright, it's time for Super Fractor Auto. Enough of this non-auto super fractor stuffs. Oh, I think I got a case of the cup coming, hockey people. <laughs> Hairless pets. Weird. Kenan Razzari. Razzari. Tim, orange paper. And first autograph, Jason Schroeder, base auto. Houston Astros, where are they? Rockies Astros, C. Benny. Oh! C. Benny. I don't know if you're watching. I got your email. I forgot to reply. And I'll just say that's for everybody, though. We've been noticing a lot the last month. Yeah, I ordered it from a completely different place, Tim. I'm trying that. Let's see if we can get something different. Armenteros. Recommended viewing. Not, not even numbered. Why is it backward? Um... I'm trying a completely different source for the cut, so that's all I can do, really. Anyway, I've been noticing the last month that a lot of packages will get scanned and then they just never scan them. And I, every day I get an email about people thinking their packages are lost. They're not lost. USPS is just really bad right now. Yeah, I think it's a tough time for that. It is. I promise it will get to you. Don't freak out. If it's never scanned, then that's maybe freak out a little bit. As long as it has any scan anywhere, it's good. From my, I've never seen one get lost. Except for if it got delivered to the wrong mailbox and someone stole it or whatever. But I don't think in the history of shipping thousands and thousands of packages I've seen one get scanned and then just never show up anywhere. Redemption. Chrome Draft Pick Autograph. Grayson Rodriguez. Where is that again? Is that the one I just got in metal? Baltimore. Oh, yeah. What was the other guy? Grace. There's uh, two Grace. Weathers and. Oh, Janista. Grace and Janista. Baltimore. John G. Diaz Blue. We did get all 20 casers, uh, everything shipped out on Tuesday. By we, I mean Ami. Devin Man. I, we even got all. I actually helped with this. We got all the base Bowman. Paper lots that you guys got out too. Everything. It's all shipped. Hopefully you'll get it. It's not too delayed. All the BGS too. Oh yeah, that happens every once in a while. We have had people, mailmen, delivered to the wrong place. Diaz green paper. And, oh, Red Wave Trevor Larnock. Jeff! Look at that thing. Four or five. What is that, our second or third? Second Red Wave, and we only had one solid red. It was bomb. Yeah. That sounds right. And a couple of red base. Oh, there's... 
inserts are backwards in this case. A little German. Release this box. Jake McCarthy. Oh, that one isn't flipped backwards. I flipped it over. Are you watching the box game? Uh, it doesn't start until 5. I was going to turn it on before, the, before the King started. Oh, okay. Do we have six autographs out of the first two? Are you serious? I'm no, that know. was only one box, right? Yeah, oh yeah, sorry, one box. There's three. Three, three, yeah, three. We got three in the first <laughs> box. Like, I don't think we would have. Yeah. Okay. So we have three. Yes. Cody decent to four ninety nine. I saw a bunch of different trailers for that. Which one are you talking about? Tyler Frank, Refractor Auto to four ninety nine. Mark your raise. Justin Jarvis. Yes, he was like that little German, just the regular. I don't know why randomly the base inserts are flipped backwards. No, it's been a thing this whole time. We've had we had another case that had like one auto in one box and then four and then five and at the very end we got the, the last box had four autos and we we ended up getting the correct uh, number. That was another insert. Grayson Janista purple. Oh yeah, that's the one that's on the Raiders. Osiris Johnson base auto. The Marlins. Uh, Marcus. Carter Keyboom Purple. Oh, the Nickelback one? Yeah, I saw that one. That was funny. Grant Witherspoon to 402. There's another one. Well, there's the one where he's, where, um, what's his name? Fred Savage. It's like the Princess Bride, like Fred Savage is sitting in there. Oh, I guess the Nickelback one is like that too. But there's another one. There's a different one where, like, Fred Savage is talking about how it's like a cash grab movie. And backwards insert, Tanner Dodson base auto. Apparently, Tanner Dodson is from Sacramento as well. Yep, Sacramento. West Sac. That's two guys in this draft from Sacramento. Doc, I don't think anyone could keep you in the loop if they tried. What would be harder, keeping Doc in the loop or keeping up with all the many tasks that I have for you here at the shop? For me? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Nick Sandlin. Both sound like more than full-time job. A fool's errand. Yeah. Yeah, both, yeah. <laughs> more than full-time job. Do we have six autographs now? Yep. All right. You can't be looped, Doc. Well, for that, then I would have to be in the loop. That would be another. Thing. Yeah. I I can't even process the math. You just blew my mind. I'm at the corner of first and first. <laughs> yes. The nexus of the universe. How can the same street intersect itself? <laughs> yeah, you know what I did last night? Devin Mann. Look at weird Dodger card. 
I watched. Oh, I got a damaged autograph. Awesome. Cole Reuter. This thing is. Look at that. It's destroyed. Mr. Bingham. Yay. What is going on over there? That corner is just trashed. Oh, God. Why? Cole Reuter. Well, thankfully, it wasn't a super fractor. Yay, more packs and box, box UPC codes. You Ooh. know, if we're having that, that means everybody is. There's, yeah. They're going to get a million requests for replacement. And then I drop a pack. That's not helping matters. Eloy Blue. Another base insert. I wonder if they're like, well, half the people aren't going to send them back. Yeah. Let's send it out. We got deadlines. We can't boot edit droid. I need to finish my app commercial. Did you finish your thought? You're gonna, you watched something. Oh, recently. yeah. I've just been watching the old um, football lifes that I've already watched. Oh, yeah. I watched like three more last night. Actually, I found one that I hadn't seen that was on my DVR. I thought I already saw it. It was uh, Roger Staubach one. Oh. I didn't really know his story. The Navy and all that? Yeah. Roger the this. Dodger. Yeah, 29 or something. Adam Wolf. Well, he didn't start till he was 29. I watched a movie that's from your era, but I don't know if you like or hate. Class of 18 auto. Okay. Anthony Siegler for the Yankees. Mark. What's that? It's a Western. What? From my. Oh, City Slickers? No. Not a comedy. Well, no, not a comedy. Tombstone? Tombstone. Yeah. Uh. Not my kind of movie, really. No. My brother-in-law is like his favorite movie ever, and we all, he always. It's really good. Yeah, it's good. I just don't. I like comedies. Doc Holliday is a little comedic. Movie. Yeah, it's good. Like mm. the thing where the guy's like waving his pistol around, you know, and then he does it with his like cuff. I don't remember. I've seen it like parts of it. It's always on. Yeah, it's on like TNT or whatever. I, I don't know when I've like actually sat down and watched the whole thing. Grant Levine. I don't really like westerns. Yeah, Doc, I settled into Lonesome Dove last night. Oh, <laughs> 15 hours of it or whatever. Lonesome Dove. My favorite thing of watching movies is just remembering stupid, funny lines. So it doesn't really happen that much in westerns. See, just like what you did, you were like, the part where the guy has the gun, he does the thing, like it doesn't... Translate it's got to be like the exact, yeah. You're going to do something, you're just going to sit there and bleed. Yeah. That's a good line. Okay, that's good. Jordan Adams, Purple Paper. For the, I don't remember those lines because it's not funny. Not funny. Uh, autograph, Turing Blue for the Brewers. Tim. <laughs> Hippie. I'm just a city boy, Doc. City slickers, too. I remember liking City Slickers and City Slickers too, but I can't remember anything that happened on there. I had the VHS of Little Big League, that movie that we saw. Oh, yeah, yeah. And City Slickers 2 was like one of the two trailers before it on the VHS. <laughs> so I saw the trailer for City Slickers 2 like a million times. <laughs> yeah. Matt Theus Gold. You know what's funny is that's <laughs> the chase for Curly's gold. Well, I do love, uh, I love Curly. And I loved him. Jack Palance. Jack Palance rules. Or ruled. As an actor. I don't know about as a person. I'm a person too, Pop. Oh, the legend of Curly's gold. Anyway, uh, my only thing I can tell you about City Slickers is I remember watching it one, one or two, I don't remember which one it was, with my dad, and he admitted to me that his, like, because, you know, it's about, like, a bunch of say, it's a dude ranch type yeah. situation, and he was like, yeah, that was always my, kind of like my dream when I was a kid was to, like, go to a dude ranch, and I was like, really? 
because we lived in the country. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, I didn't really think of my dad as like a cowboy exactly, but he's, he grew up in L.A., like in the valley. Oh, he yeah. He was like a city person that moved up there in his, like, 30s. And I think I kind of insulted him. I was like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Who would want to do that? Because yeah. I already lived, I mean, I, yeah. I lived in that already, kind of. Carlos Cortez Green. Like I said, this guy's selling pretty good, I think. Mark S., nice green Carlos Cortez. Can I see the stars? Yeah. Well, at my parents' house, yes. It's amazing. There's no light pollution up there. You can see everything. We used to sleep outside in, in uh, you know, sleeping bags and do all that. Yeah, it's amazing. No, I would move there right now. Monte Harrison Purple. So would I for what it's worth. Dude, it's if, so if, awesome up there. If it ever came to that. You gotta go up there. I'll take you up there. You'll love it. It's amazing. I'll play golf at the Greenhorn. Doc, have you looked up Angels Camp, California, where I'm from? Look it up. It's hilarious. A little gold mining town. Gold, California gold rush town. That's all part of California's yeah. gold. The Cardinals to look for in this? Oh, I don't know. I don't think they have anybody. Luke and Baker. Yeah, Luke and Baker. They're the best team to have. Blaine Enlow. Come on, little German. You do zero research. You trust us. Matthew Libertor, base auto for the Rays. Nolan Gorman is the number one best guy right now, value-wise. Cyrus Johnson. <laughs> Goat Scrote, Georgia. A little German trusts us. He's like, well, if draft's hot, I'm in. It all goes to charity. <laughs> oh, Twitch... Modded goat scrote. That's hardly <laughs> profanity. It's a scientific term. I still I get a kick every time out of like they can't see it. Well, can they see it? Where it says Cardsmith added permitted term. Scrote. I don't know. <laughs> that one I'm gonna permit. Harp, I imagine when you said you're going to uh, Colorado for Christmas. All I can think of, when I think of Colorado, you know what I think of? You guys could probably guess. Like <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, wait. Casey Mize, base auto. Well, obviously. The Bear Boys, your Tigers. I thought this was a tennis break. You know what house I imagine if you say I'm staying in Colorado? The Uptons would know. No, I don't think about that. Please, I live in California. You can't walk down the street in California in a city without a consistent yeah. weed smell. It Everybody's really smoking weed all the time. Yeah, it's it's been like that for a while, even before it was legalized, but now it's just, like, stupid. Like, I went to the mall yesterday, and it's like, all, even, like, the family smell like yeah. weed. Yeah, everybody smells like weed here. Griffin Conine, Sparkle. Anyway, all I think of when people say they're staying in Colorado, especially... Like a Christmas time thing is the <laughs> yeah, obviously Dumb and Dumber, but you know the like the place that the bad guys at and the, that Mary lives or whatever. Oh dumb yeah, yeah. Aspen, yeah. I just think of that house in Aspen, like you're around a fireplace with a bunch of like animal furs and yeah, like the kind of like quasi Native American like rugs <laughs> yeah, and yeah. stuff like. Like just a big, and it's it's. I would love to stay in a house like yeah, that. Yeah, like all the timber beams. Yeah. And like, like a cabin, sort of. But huge. Yeah, a monstrous cabin overlooking, like, ravines and stuff. Aspen. I want to go play someplace warm. Oh, beer like wine. <laughs> Beautiful women flock like the salmon of Capistrano. Oh, Matt Ver... Oh, is that the dirt, or is that a scratch on the card? See that? 
And Ryan Jeffers, Refractor Auto for the Twins. Retired Jeff. Team. Yeah. Stay here. Hunt for jobs. Tired of having no one. I wonder how much of that we could do back and forth chronologically. The whole thing. Probably a lot. Ian Anderson, purple paper. What if they shot you in the face? That was a risk we were willing to take. I didn't get a gun. Did you get a gun? <laughs> My favorite exchange in the whole movie is when I'm on the bed, though. Okay, kill him. <laughs> kill him. She touched my leg. Kill him. And then when he goes, oh, I'll tell you where to sign. Yeah. <laughs> both cheeks, both lips. <laughs> yeah. You just sign, tell me where to sign, pal. <clears throat> John Denver. I was thinking the same thing. I think the Rockies would be a little rockier. Tim Kate, blue paper. Some people just aren't cut out for the road. Ryder Green, base auto for the Yankees. Mark S. I had a friend at this. I had a friend. I had this friend that I worked with at the state that loved that movie. And one time he got us both laughing so hard about the. That part of the gas station with the the skis and everything. Those are skis. Yeah, and like not that Both part, not that part, but when when she's gonna give him his number and he everything catches on fire and she's like, "Oh, you know, don't you hate that?" And he's like, "Just give me the damn number." <laughs> five five five. <laughs> Just give me the damn number. Okay, if you're gonna be pushy. He's all cross-eyed like his face. Tristan McKenzie. So good. Five, five, five. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's my old number. Don't you hate that when you? When you get pushy. Uh, there he is, Jonathan India. Ooh, purple. This is a good case. Mm-hmm. Purple India now, Mark S. Wait, purple India, blue Turing, red wave, Larnock. Larnock, green Cortez, green Cortez, Mize. This is a really good case. Finally, we had some stinkers the other night. I don't think somebody commented on the YouTube channel. Not a good night, breaks wise. <laughs> really? Like, yeah. I was like, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. We, the other night was one of the more like. Not great hit nights I've had in a long time. I wasn't back here for most yeah. of Yeah. Maybe that's the... Man, we were just struggling through those the draft cases. It was like, man. Then we got 19 friggin' hits in the last one. That, that really topped it off. The cherry on. It's okay. We're back now. Hot hits all night. Chat just died. They're like, all right, that's yeah. it. No more Dumb and Dumb. Right? That's the last <laughs> Wait, time. both guys are going back and forth now? Yeah. That's it. I like the breaks. I like the products he posts, but I can't do another night of Dumb and Dumber lines. I just can't do it. <clears throat> no, it's not me. It's draft. Here's a Rizrari. Yeah, I lost it. After the last couple cases, I was just, I had nothing left. Woods Richardson base auto for the Mets, Mark. I feel good now, though. I got all, I'm all recovered now. Watching Omni and everybody do all that sorting. It yeah, really check, energized me. Check back with me around the new year. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that C whites. Also, I'm, that one I'll let Automod win. Medina, sparkles. Yeah, this case is not so bad, but that might be a, a door we don't want to open. <laughs> she touched my leg. 
The other part that <laughs> kills me every time is when they go to, they have all the money, so they get those suits and everything, and they show up to the party. Obviously, the suits are just ridiculous, but the very first part where he's like, what does he say? He's like, uh, I'm sorry, this is a uh, $500 night. Oh, yeah. Good night. Good night. He just like dismisses here's, them. Here's two grand. Yeah. <laughs> Kiss me one second. <laughs> Alec <laughs> bombed to 250. It's so good. Just the way he like dismissed. He's like not even looking. Good night. Good evening. Or whatever he says to them. And he just stuffs it in his pocket. Case oh, in that case, yeah. Here's five grand. It's about seconds. <laughs> yeah. Smashing each other's legs as they come in. Brian Mata to 499. God, it's the best. It's so good. <laughs> right after that, he goes. Ooh. Daniel Lynch purple. Tim. One, one that I still go to at, like at bars all the time is what do you say we go get ourselves a couple of bowls of loudmouth soup? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I'll be at the bar. Any other vibe? Drevian Williams Nelson, check please. I got gas. Well, it's been following us for weeks. Robert to 402. We're just watching like halftime show stuff forever here. Oh, yeah, it must be halftime. Long halftime. Right? Yeah, the Bucks will probably tip now. Mm, that sounds good. I'll have that. Excuse me, Paul. Josh Naylor, purple paper. Yeah, one of these again. And a Connor Scott base auto. Mark. So what happens after that? Get away scot free. No. <laughs> you catch up with him halfway down the road and slit his throat. That was a good one. Rivas. <laughs> Stupid suits. That's exactly what those characters would think of like dressing up like the nicest suits they could get. Like every time Harry's trying on a or is it Lloyd Lloyd's trying on the different like nice suits or whatever? He's like he's like, all yeah, he's all pissed <laughs> off like Really great. Doesn't he have the cigar in his mouth? He starts clapping. Yeah. And they're giving him pedicures with like the belt sanders. And... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he starts clapping with the cigar in his mouth. Jaron Kendall, blue paper. And Jeremiah Jackson, gold. This case rules. Mr. Bingham. Tons of color, too. Yeah, a lot. Seems like more than normal. Well, just less than half of the autographs have been colored so far. Yeah, I guess that's about right. But again, like, not many refractors. <laughs> Parker Meadows Green. Dennis Schroeder. Oh, yeah, that fight the other night. Wait. Oh, yeah, that was them. Hey, who started that whole thing? I don't understand why Westbrook isn't involved in a fight like almost every night. That guy, hell of a player, but man. He's so aggressive and he's so good that it would drive you insane. Like if he was bad, people would be like, whatever, that guy sucks. <laughs> it's getting yeah, like it's a triple-double every night. No, nah, it was just a basket. Yeah, I was just pushing and shoving. It wasn't an actual fight. Wait, someone got suspended, so were their punches thrown? Uh, Cole Wynn, Purple Paper. Alec Baum now. 
I guess, man. Yeah, I don't think that Russell Westbrook started it. It's just the way he plays. Like, I could see him just driving people insane. Yeah, John Collins is a stud. Go back and watch 15, 16 prison breaks. I talk about them all the time. Did you guys see uh, the Froze block last night on LeBron? Alec Baum, blue paper. Jared Allen's really good too, but he's more of like a defensive kind of guy. He's awesome. Yeah, I saw that. I didn't actually see the block, but did you see the? This only happened nine times in LeBron's career. Wow. Where he's had a dunk block. Yeah, that was awesome. And Griffin Roberts refractor. There's a cardinal. A little German. Griffin Roberts Refractor. That's not the one you were wanting, but it's a cardinal. <laughs> Ardenator. Allen. You mean uh, Collins. Doc, you mean Collins, not Allen, right? Why would you have a Brooklyn rookie? Oh, from all the breaks that where you always get the nets. I get it. I thought you meant collecting your own own team. Levi Kelly purple. Oops. Oops. So we have uh, 20, 21 autos. I don't think we've had it. I don't feel like we've had a box. We didn't have three. Yeah, last year's rookie class, it's like Collins and Allen and uh, Darren Fox have been better than last year. Ashcraft, blue paper, then you got everyone else is kind of doing the same or a little worse. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Orange, Nolan Gorman now? I thought we were done with the color. I thought this was going to be a three base box. Hey, little German, this is the best card you've ever hit in any of my breaks. <laughs> That's a huge card. That's the best card you've ever gotten. Not even close. Wow. What a great case. We needed this after those, less, those other cases. Totally redeemed itself, Bowman Draft. Yeah, that's earnest money right there. Yeah, you might need your earnest money back. <laughs> earnest money. Real money. Amigo money. <laughs> yeah, might want to hang on to that one. That's a car. That's so stupid. They have an IOU for a car in there. That's they're written on like a map. Yeah, two hundred fifty thousand. That's <laughs> that's a car. That's a Might want to hang on to that one. Our where is our bond? These are as good as money. Yeah. Those are IOUs. Green Ademan paper. And Tim Kate. Do I remember everybody's best hit now? I just know that Little German hasn't got anything better than that. Well, maybe he has. I don't know. Alex McKenna, you got he got something. You got the uh... oh, what did you get? You got an NT one of one, something crazy, cut auto or something. Maybe that was better. I don't know though. What 
what is happening here? Oh, that's a Ryan Weathers photo variation, I guess. That always tricks me. It must be. Yeah, it is. We've had one. Oh, the one of one Saquon. Yeah. Ooh, man. I thought you got something early. You got a mantle or something, though. You got something else. A while ago, when you first started. And the Saquon. Jeez. Yeah, that card was awesome. Ryan Mountcastle blue paper. One more hit. Another Carlos Cortez. For the Mets. Case was amazing. One of one mantle button, yeah. He's gotten a couple good ones. And yeah, you've had some good hits. Yeah, why don't you guys list your best hits, then I'll remember again. Cal Mitchell Green to 99. Best hit and favorite hit. They might be the same, though. Mine are. <laughs> I know my favorite hit. I don't know my best hit. All right, hit recap coming. Yeah, that's a monster card. Larnock Red Wave, Gorman Orange, Jeremiah Jackson Gold, Green Carlos Cortez, Turing Blue, Daniel Lynch Purple, Jonathan India Purple, Jeffers, Tyler Frank, Griffin Roberts, Refractors, Anthony Siegler Class of 18, Cortez, Kate, Baum, Connor Scott, Simeon Woods Richardson, Ryder Green, Casey Mize, Libertor, Rarderer, Tanner Dotson, Osiris Johnson, Grayson Rodriguez Redemption, Jason Schroeder. <laughs> Embro hitless. Wait, who did Embro have? Oh, Red Sox. Yeah, they have Tristan Cassis. Non-auto color. <laughs> yeah, Tim. Theus Gold. And then the rest of the stuffs. Yeah, I wonder what Tim considers his best hit. What's your favorite CSB hit, Tim? Probably like a purple Bruce Star Greater All. Yeah. Alec Baum. It was a 10-way tie, the Greater All. <laughs> yeah. Every Greater All is each my favorite hit. <laughs> <laughs>